Hi there, beautiful soul. Hey, have you ever made a decision out of fear? And did that decision ever lead you to a good circumstance? I think this is a very important question. So, fear is a so-called negative emotion. And we have been taught in our society to suppress negative emotions and use a coping mechanism or buy a product to escape from feeling this fear. Now, we all know that this doesn't really work. When we experience a negative emotion that we do not want to express, we enter the fight or flight mechanism of the nervous system. We are in lower levels of consciousness, our energy shrinks, and we lack the ability for clear thinking. Now, from this space, every decision that we will make will somehow be a coping mechanism. And they often represent fight, flight, or hide. But sometimes we also buy a product to escape from it. Now, there are companies and strategies and media that use this in their advantage because they need to have, they need to sell a product. They need to uh, have something from you. And therefore they use fear techniques. For example, about a medical condition uh, that you can get. And it, it doesn't really matter that the numbers that they are presenting you are not really clear, valid. Instead, they use um, manipulation techniques, like, for example, in the book, How to Lie with Statistics, to sell a storyline of fear on you. And at the same time, um, we have all been taught not to really feel our emotions and be with them. So we get in this lower levels of consciousness. And in the lower level of consciousness, our energy shrinks and we're basically living in resistance. And from that space, we are very weak. If you are very afraid of this medical condition and you ask for your doctor uh, whether you should take this medical product, and yes, I'm going to this subject because it's very, very uh, busy in my inbox with this question, then your doctor might say, well, the disease that you might be getting might be worse than chronic fatigue syndrome. So I advise you to take it. At the same time, this human gets a financial bonus by injecting you with this substance so his advice is not really uh, clear uh, not really objective i think um, spiritually speaking we're vibrating at very low levels of consciousness and we're taking uh, something to counteract this this feeling but in the meantime we do not let go of the feeling so the feeling remains in us now if you if this is not the reason why you've taken this medical product or why you're thinking about taking it, there are also reasons to take this medical product which are not medical at all, which is of course weird. For example, you do not want to lose your job. Uh, you want to remain going to a supermarket. You want it to be a goodist, which tells me that deep down you don't feel good. So you uh, are trying to as well escape a feeling of inferiority or unworthiness. So from this level, we are in the lower levels of consciousness and our energy is weak. And you then inject yourself with a substance that is also vibrating at a level of lack, a lower level of consciousness. And I don't really know what it, the product does at long term because those effects are unknown because it is still uh, experimental, I think. Phase two or phase three, I believe. But that doesn't really matter to me because... Um, if you have injected this with yourself and now this sort of heartbreaking story comes, like I get dozens of emails from people who have taken, listened to other people or their doctor and for some reason out of fear they decided to join this medical experiment and they have lots of negative consequences. Their health has been declining uh, or they're, they're back at rock bottom. But of course, there are also people who don't have these side effects. So it's not it's not like a story that counts for everyone. What matters is that this uh, this product and any other product like it, which is out of fear, also vibrates at this level of fear. This means it it lowers your level of consciousness. And of course, the product does something, and this might be very negative for your body. It might be very stressful. 
and you might feel like I made a mistake. I want to get rid of it. Well, Joe Dispenza would say what you're actually becoming in this lower level of consciousness is you become matter and you try to influence matter with matter, which is hard work, maybe also very impossible because you're always you know, running behind a, a carrot on a stick, but you never really arrive there. So I don't think this is the way to go. And also this, is, this isn't the way to go with dealing with your illness or a, a chronic disease in the first place. What we always aiming for is to get you in your own power, to make your energy stronger, to release the negative emotions so you can escape these lower levels of consciousness and you can um, act and live uh, from, from different feelings which aren't emotions. Uh, and these lower levels of con of these higher levels of consciousness, which are the so-called healing states, uh, according to David R. Hawkins, is called love, peace, joy, and then on top of that is enlightenment, where you really give up uh, on yourself. But we don't have to go there. And these, you might think that love, uh, joy, and peace is an emotion as well, but that is not really the case. This state of consciousness is your true self. Uh, shining through you so this is not really an emotion but it is a feeling instead and that's why these lower levels of consciousness they're all related to emotions because an emotion is always feedback somehow from a negative circumstance that you're not really in the right place or acting from the right circumstances so these levels are shame uh, guilt fear uh, anger apathy um, well these are the, and and these and other levels so whether you have made the mistake or not, or whether you've taken it or not, or whether you have negative consequences from it or not, none of it really matters. What matters is that we need to stop um, living a life to not deal with our emotions. We need to feel them. And this is very, very unpleasant. We need to feel fear. Yes, I've seen people... Uh, falling dead on the street. Yes, I'm afraid that I might get worse. Yes, I'm afraid that my parents might die. Feel it. Feel it and let go of it. Because otherwise, these circumstances of lower levels of consciousness are coming into your life, which will make you weak. And from that space on, it seems very logical to do all these actions against it. But from a higher level of consciousness, you become so powerful so strong, so in alignment, that you become sort of untouchable. And I would say that in this world, we're sort of playing a game, sort of playing a divine game between the light versus the darkness. And once you see this, you understand more of how this game is supposed to be played. Then the light represents the higher levels of consciousness. And the darkness represents the lower levels of consciousness, which is always resistance. So it's resistance versus alignment as well. Allowing, letting go, unite, unify, instead of dividing resistance, uh, fear, uh, and these kind of things. But what it really means is that we must shine the light on the darkness. Shine the light on the things that we do not want to see about ourselves. Look into our own shadow. Look into our own darkness. Also understand that this manipulation that is coming from outside is also coming from the inside. As within, so without. We have been manipulating ourselves. We've been very mean to ourselves. We've been very mean to our emotions. We've been very mean with our belief systems about ourselves. But everything that you shine the light upon, which could be a lie, which could be a, a, a fear strategy from the media, it always transforms once it has been looked at. Looking at the truth, seeing the truth, and seeing your own truth and speaking your own truth is very important. And not only for the people who have negative consequences from this medical product, but everyone on this planet, especially when you have illness or negative, negative moments in your life, and it's not bad that these things happen to us. We've all made mistakes and we've all been grown up in this, in this game 
where we have completely forgotten about ourselves, about our power, about what we're actually doing here. And we've all made countless mistakes. It doesn't really matter. What matter is that you need to make the decision to let the light shine upon the darkness inside of you most of all. And then of course, externally, you would see it as well. And then you're not prone for manipulation your body gets stronger and stronger and illness might eventually disappear. And this is what I'm trying to do with the alignment program. And I think at this day and age, aligning ourselves with our soul and the light of consciousness is more important than ever. Because what I've been seeing for the last five, six years, since I've really become aware of it, is that everything in our society is based upon fear. Everything. And that there is already a smaller group who is seeing this and are choosing to live their life from feeling and from, from a place of love. So there was already a sort of um, division between two groups in society. Already. And one group might feel like they need to lean towards more the darkness, which is always more fear. And if you look at it, you know, the financial system is based on fear and lack. Getting a job is based on fear and lack. So for some people, a relationship is based on um, uh, putting a plaster upon their, their soul. Um, yeah, and the, 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 the food system, um, it becomes very obvious that everything is based on these lower levels of consciousness and that we need to shift to a place of abundance, to a place of possibility, to a place of trust, which is also a place of healing. I wish you a very, very beautiful day. Bye-bye.